What up, this is July from Kickback Couture, and today I'm going to show you how to use the master bus effects. So, not in a sense, any kind of presets or anything, but how to automate an effect on your master bus so that it affects your entire beat. For example, if you want to put gross beat on your entire beat or halftime or any kind of effect plugin like that, I'm going to show you how to get that going. Now, ideally, I don't use effects on the entire beat. I separate it from my melodies to my drums but if there was an instance when I wanted it to do do that to everything I could use the master section but I use this for mastering purposes so like limiting compression of final EQ a carve out frequencies for vocals stuff like that so that's what I use this section for so I don't even touch that what I do is create a group, a master group that comes before this final master section. And in order to do that, I'll just get rid of this so you can see me do it. Right click, create mix channel, simply name it master group. You can name it whatever you want, pre master, it's up to you. And then what you want to do is make sure that your tracks are routed to this master group. So with my beats, I always route my melodies into a melody group so that I can affect my melodies separate from everything else. So this is a bus in itself right here. So if I click on these and route all channels melody group, it is now a bus because this turned red. You know it's a bus if this knob is red. If I want to use the master group, I can either route my instruments there or I can route, route my melody group, which is more efficient because, you know, it's already there. So honestly, I don't even have to touch this if I only want to affect my melodies. Say I had drums, then I have a drum group as well. If I want to do it to the entire beat, I simply route my melody group and my drum group to the master group and I add my effect. So we'll go with Cable Guys Halftime. I do not have drums, but I'll go ahead and add a simple hi-hat pattern for this example. Bring the steps down to 16. Now it's on half time but that's because my melody group is on it so if I want half time to affect both my drums and my melodies I need to make sure that my melody group and my drum group is routed to the master group if you don't have groups you simply just route all your instruments to the master group or the master section if that's where you choose to do it so I'm gonna right click the drum group route to and it's not going to show up here because it's not a bus already. Master group. Come to my melody group. Route to master group. Turn this off so we can only hear this effect. Now when I press play, it's on the entire song. And it's not a song, but you know exactly what I mean. Then of course you can automate it. If you're in a VST, just click this automate button and click on what you want to automate. If you're in a rack extension, just uh, right click it, edit automation. And you just draw in wherever you want the automation to be. So let's say I want it over here. So I go in here and when it opens in edit mode, it's at 100%. That means it's going to be on the entire time. I could change that by dragging this down to zero, which means it will not be on until it turns on in this clip.
half ton. So that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any requests, let me know those as well. It's all culture.